So what do I do? So if patients are having a lot of trouble losing weight, I'll offer berberine as a natural solution or ALA, but sometimes I'll prescribe metformin. And then if they can, a GLP-1 agonist or a GLP-1 receptor agonist. Um, coverage is always an issue, insurance coverage. Again, when it, with a drug shortage, sometimes we can get away with compounds, but that's rare. Um, and the FDA frowns upon these things in most cases. But when there is a drug shortage, that is a possibility. But they're still expensive. I have referred plenty of people for bariatric surgery because that surgical risk, I think, is much lower than the overall risk of being morbidly obese. Uh, now I recommend the GLP-1 receptor agonist more often. Those are usually only covered for, um, by insurance companies for diabetes. Most still aren't covering them for straight up weight loss. Um, I think those days are coming, they're just not here yet. If a lot of weight needs to be lost, again, back to the earlier point, I usually recommend time-restricted eating. Sometimes I'll give Adipex to help people ease into that with a ketogenic diet. But again, I don't like ketogenic for long-term. That's just me. I'm a bigger fan of an omnivore, high-fiber, Mediterranean lifestyle. Sleep, it's hugely important. People that don't sleep well gain weight more, are more obese, have more joint problems, have more disease. Shift work has been called a cancer risk by the World Health Organization. It's just shift work and bad sleeping schedules is a well-known dramatic health risk and definitely helps people gain weight. So getting on a good sleep schedule is very, very important. We already talked about Mediterranean diet. Supplement to fill your micronutrient gaps. Most of us, including me, cannot get nine servings of fresh fruits and vegetables, different fruits and vegetables each day. So I supplement a lot to fill those micronutrient gaps. And then I supplement with omega-3 every single day because I know I'm not getting enough for my diet. And it's so important to human health. Exercise should be done, but not for weight loss. For other reasons, we've talked about that. And then just start small. Add over time. Don't beat yourself up over this because cortisol and mental stress is another way to hurt your body and make yourself hurt more and gain weight. So just give yourself reasonable goals and just go for it. And I think that you actually do have the power to do this yourself. But if you find that it's difficult and life is too stressful and you can't, now we actually have some pharmaceutical weapons that help and we know we have some supplements that help.